Every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, and the gossip. I'm Barbie. And I'm a man. Our first story on the show tonight is... Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr. Wolf has claimed hay fever is a victim uh, his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter, Tom, Tom Jeed, with more. Oh no, I screwed that up. The Big Bad Wolf and her lawyer. Mr. Wolf, you have been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? Ever since I was a wee little kiddo, I have loved destruction. I have been practicing blowing things O over for ages, see? You have been caught impersonating both a grandmother and sheep. Who is the big bad wolf, really? My name is Greg, 42-year-old, loves working out. Ah, yes, the gym. I even have a platinum membership card. What do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you are nothing more than a dangerous criminal? They are 110% correct. Allegedly. Stay on my good side unless you want your house blown down. Also, I'm, I utilize, I'm utilizing my amazing lungs and starting my own leaf blowing business next week. Starting special, 15% off. Well, thank you for those thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Uh, good luck with the trial. Back to the studio. Now for news of escaped, kidnapped heroes, Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs, the Hansel and Gretel story. Our reporter, Addison, was at the book's release in the deep, dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hello, Finally, I'm Brooklyn Bailey, and with me today story. are Hansel and Griddle. You're obviously very rich now, having all the jewels from the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending it all? Go for a shopping spring, of course, and don't forget getting my beautiful nails done. Hansel, you're back in great shape after being fastened for eating. How do you do it? I've been at the gym every morning at 6 a.m., and I'm really into my protein shakes. Magic Muscle Maker. Only fifty nine ninety nine. I am not sponsored at all. What have you learned through this experience? Never trust old ladies. If someone gives you mu candy, take it and run. Be cool, kid. Thank you, and good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well that with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets, sources are saying that Happily Ever After might not last so much longer. We, are, we go now to our reporter, Hamza. Hello everyone, I'm Hamza Shah in the beautiful mansion of the Beauty and the Beast. So, hello and smooches to you both. Now yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love. Now, a a fell in love against the odds. How's it going with you two? There is way too much hair in the house and our food bill has skyrocketed. I don't know why, but everything she does turns into a song. It's kind of annoying. So you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're something of a beast. Beast, what is the reality of living with someone completely different to you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it can be difficult, but he did actually accidentally try to eat me yesterday. Wow, she did look delicious. There are good things and challenges. 
Your recent al album did not sell well, and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? Well, I am bringing out a new rap album, and it will go straight to number one. Well, I am bringing out a new reality show called um, Beast Beauty. It will just be amazing. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Hamza. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Rosie and Mila. Who will have the fair, the fairest weather of them all this week? Well, it'll be a mix of fair and foul in the faraway kingdoms. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine, the birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm, you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it'll be fee fi fo freezing Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending week for the working most of us. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Rosie and Mila. Finally. Tonight, long-haired tower dweller Rapunzel is suing the Sleeping Beauty hair salon. Her stylist fell asleep with the princess under the hair dryer. The result was a haircut so terrible it threatened to ruin Rapunzel's career and reputation. Here's our reporter, Z. The outside court where the first day of the lawsuit has just finished, and here comes Princess Rapunzel now. How did you react when you saw what happened to your hair? I was furious. It looked like I had really bad bit hair. Ten times worse than trolls here. I tell you. What do you have to say to the owner of the Sleeping Beauty Salon who ruined your hair, career and your reputation? I will sue you. My social media fans will be furious. All 13 of my followers will come looking for you. What are you going to do about your hair? Can it be fixed? I'll talk to my friend Cinderella and see if her fairy godmother can fix it with her pumpkin magic. She owes me a favour anyways. Wow, thank you for your time, Rapunzel. Back to the studio. That's all for tonight. That's all for tonight. I'm doing I'm doing Let's go, keep reading.